prep a little station of turrets to the top. Orbital laser coming in 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, maybe. We live for these moments in video games. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. Why am I running back? Teleport back. Of course. Um, right, let's get. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. That's right, right, right. It's like, it's like, now, have I got to craft the orbital laser? Um, I don't know. I have got. Oh, I forgot about crafting. Oh, my God. It sounds like it's going to be something, isn't it? The orbital laser. It's going to be uh, something I fire. There it is. Do I research it all and then make it? I can't remember if you can just upgrade it. So I'll just wait for the orbital laser to come in. Let's make another research tower then. Oh, it needs a lot of carb. <laughs> That'll be my nuclear bombs. Yes. Let's give me artillery then and a, a laser. I don't know how bad it's going to get around here for, you know. And I guess if I need carbonium for the uh, new re research. Kind of interesting the little base building isn't it especially when you've got like a new tech coming in like orbital cannon that's going to be fun what is this bug i'm finding on my computer we've not been able to go north since i've put this i don't know Research station, where are you? The research station is under construction. I am detecting movement in the planet's orbit. This cannot be a coincidence. We oh. should prepare to defend this site. This doesn't look well. If something is purposefully controlling objects in the sky, then we might be dealing with an active presence of an alien civilization. We're starting to get worried about this. Don't worry, Ashley. Get prepared. Hell yeah. I... <laughs> it won't let me do stuff. I actually feel crippled here. Do we need more CPU? <sighs> Dance then, baby. Is that in the normal? Am I just preparing for something that's not there? I 
don't know where they're going to come in. This is pretty, uh, you know, on edge here. This is going to be a big attack. It's like coming in in 1 minute 40 something. <laughs> it's giving me a lot of time to prepare for this. So let's see what I can do. Um, where the heck? Can't really build much, can I? Tower wise, I can uh, get another rail gun up. And uh, laser. See if I can finish off the wall. It's obviously, a good thing to do. <laughs> Get a little of distraction. I get an artillery in. Here she comes when you're walking down the street. Let's see your big it is. It's a long time since I've run out of uh, blue, but you know the blue resource. But hey, just the right is where they're coming. Okay. Whoa, they're flying! Whoa, what are they firing on the ground? Was that it? Was that it? <laughs> I don't know. I think that might have been kind of it. Kind of it. Running low in power. No, they're coming back. <laughs> well, my laser gun's just like... I just feel the right weapon for these. Because if you put down mines and stuff, they're not really going to help. I keep forgetting about my uh, T-34. 
towers. Well, I guess if I need power, I can. I might as well get some uh, turbines up or something, right? Here we go, I'm walking down the street. Let me see what those storage is like worldwide in my base. Across all my bases. Titanium, fantastic, 26k. That's the one that always seems to run out because of ammo. Cobalt's looking good at 22.9. So everything's pretty high coming in. We need more power. Oh, they're coming. They are coming. Whoa, what was that? They like sent a massive nuke towards my base. What was that? I think when it's on Brutal, you can't really enjoy like scanning and everything because you get loads of attacks all the time. They just come so quickly. But I guess that's what's brutal about it. You've got to be kind of efficient. And um, I can't believe I'm so low on the blue resource. And that's what kind of makes ammo. So a little bit concerned about that going into my base with low blue. And especially running out of power. There is a uh, another down here power place and a blue. So you know, let's see if we can get this on before they come back and attack me. my head in. I think it's because I've changed my key. Because I'm ESDF, not WASDA, and it it's like a, a bug they've not fixed. Base is under attack. What?
Well, I think this DLC unlocks missions as you go through the game, so I'm just wondering if this one's easy because it's like the first mission of them, or, or what? I just don't know. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. And we know what we're going to do. We know what we're going to do. Right, we just need to couple these up to get restore massive amounts of power back to my base. Two level three geothermals should be sufficient, I think. And there's another blue here, so yeah. Awesome sauce. This is what I like to do, is maximise as many places as I can. <sighs> can I get this in before the attack again? I've almost got full research on this station, so we'll see. It's worth getting this down, actually, because it does bring resources in when you go back to another map, you see, so... Um. The research station has finished analyzing the alien artifacts. These structures were indeed created by an advanced civilization. They are old, but they're too young to be of native origin. They're composed of very dense, heavy element alloys. The wreckage in front of the tall alien pillars appears to be some kind of pump or a refinery. It has visible intake valves and we found traces of morphium inside it. This liquid behaves in a similar way to the meteorite debris that we analyzed near our HQ. It is a mixture of heavy element atoms that rapidly change state and morph interchangeably into lighter or heavier elements. How is this liquid stable? Why doesn't it explode? We've never seen anything like this. Our sensors cannot explain these phenomena. However, we are detecting dark energy wave emissions from this liquid. Dark matter and dark energy are just vague terms that we use to describe unknown forms of both. That means that there's something more inside or around the liquid that we cannot see or interact with. That's probably the thing that drives and stabilizes these morphing reactions. I propose we call this substance morphium. A fitting name. It looks like there is a pool of morphium nearby. Maybe this wreckage was initially connected to it. That would make sense. Let's connect it back and see what happens. Is our pipeline system going to be able to transport this substance? Of course. It's been designed to handle plasma, supercoolants, or even molten magma. It can transport practically anything. Okay then. Let's place a pipe in this pool of morphium and connect it to the alien structure near our research station. Um, liquid pump. Yeah. Pipe. Still not fixed that, have they? Pipe through fence. New music. Base is under attack. No. Oh.
Here we go. Well, thanks for watching. And if you remember, you can please subscribe and like the video. And don't remember, you can also hit the bell for notices on the channel. Yeah, we've also got a Twitter you can see on our banner. So check that out too. So take care and bye-bye.